If I was to say to you, what does Christian music sound like? You probably couldn't give me an answer. It's more than just a song for Sunday. It's the music that I need on Monday, the music that I rely on. Church is not behind four walls. We are the church. My life is built on loving my neighbor. I'm at the hospitals with people in my community. I'm at the funeral home. We are doing life together. <sighs> I take a deep breath when, when thinking about music. Because it's one of those blessings that God has given so that our soul can have a language. language. Not even labeling it Christian music or gospel music. Just music in general is a language that everyone can understand. The thing about gospel music, it doesn't matter how it's packaged, it's able to bless people all across the world and I sing it with power. <laughs> there is a creativity intrinsic in all of us. So then when it comes to somebody who does connect with Jesus, it's what best articulates with the least distortion what God is doing in our church right now. As I am giving myself to the human experience, I find there's no shortage of what I should be rapping about, singing about, preaching about, podcasting about, because I don't know how you can serve people, care for people, and be uninspired. Inspired. Listen, I can go on and on with that. Um, <laughs> all across the world, so many different artists, so many different people all coming together as one with the same message. We're much more similar than we are different. It surprises me when you go to a Norway and they're singing your music. You go to Uganda and they're singing your music. The music is inherently our connection, not only with one another, but our connection with God. I believe in a God who can handle my fears, my doubts, my existential crisis. In some cases, music rescues people. And if we can be a part of writing a song that rescues someone, I mean, isn't that the greatest gift of music? We're creating worship music. We're creating music for church. We're creating music just for the believer to live by every day. So much of it is experienced outside. outside America. It needs to have a message of hope, a message of love. God loves every single person on this planet. And part of the beauty of the global church is that we aren't all the same and we were never supposed to be. There's all of these ethnicities, languages, creeds, cultures, and the Bible says that all of that diversity will be present in eternity singing a song, even though it's in different languages. It's happened to me many times that I'll just start singing something in Spanish and that's when everybody really gets in. And I'm thinking most of these people don't speak Spanish. It's because their soul understands it. Even though sometimes we have different views, we hear different things, when you put on Christian music, you're always gonna find that extra push, that extra motivation that you need. This is not just your religious music. It is a message of hope. Even with my own kind of mainstream stuff, some of these songs were for people who would never step into a church, but it doesn't mean that it's not redemptive art. We're brushstrokes on a much bigger picture. This music, I'm telling you, is like a window into another world.